All right, man. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yash all. Yash all. It's your boy Kudash. Your boy Yuanathan. Back at it again. Um, this one's a drive by beheading. Um, trying to make it real fast. I just have to, I just, I had to bring something out real quick, man. Like, confirmed, dude. Confirmed madness. Um, dude thinks he's the most high, bro. So, so we've got someone claiming to be God in the flesh confirmed like words like this this is bad so i just wanted to bring this out real quick and then bring out a few scriptures and then uh, uh call it and then we're gonna pick right back up with part three of the dead sea scrolls uh host of heaven lesson so check this out so we're on uh we're on uh so we're on uh servants of yahweh page of yahweh yasha all this is declare what is to be part one okay this is around i'm gonna start it like around 10 40 kind of get like a little bit before and then what you want is like a little after 11 minutes in this thing okay so check this out check it out, check it out. key point check it out. isaiah okay. 19 and 21 so yahweh will make himself known to the egyptians watch, watch. You see that? so yahweh will make himself known to the egyptians you see that again just like we read here zechariah 2 and 11 many nations will be joined with yahweh in that day and will become my people and I will live among you, and you will know that Yahweh Almighty has sent me to you. You see that? Talking about himself, third person. You don't know nothing about that. Well, how do I know that? Why? Because I am him, stupid. So you rejected me, you rejected your God. You have no mercy now. May the Most High destroy you. May you have vengeance, okay? May he have vengeance on you for the, for, for the, for the things you have done. For the, for the, evilness to have come out of your mouth Bro. because you know you don't know who's god you see that this is the whole purpose of why it's being known now who Bro. is god because you people thought you knew who was god see that That's again so i will <laughs> that is so blasphemy <laughs> in the highest levels wow wow it's done dude i am him you can't you can't really like recover from that I, I really don't know anybody that's really recovered from that before. Like I, I've never seen, I've that's, never experienced dude, dude, this in person. Some, you know, dude, that's like some you dude. That's you gotta do. There's <laughs> that's like dude, I know, like I know, what bro. the fuck, man? Like, dude, you gotta do some sick repentance for that shit. Yeah, I don't even know what you like, bro. If this was back in the day, like it, it wouldn't even be no. You would be dead. Yeah. That'd be bricks to face, bro. Like just done, just done. They'd We're gonna be, get anyone. Anyone heard that? They'd be like, every, dude, it'd be like one of those movies <laughs> where you'd see everyone in the town just look, whip around, look dude, directly like, at him, and be like, "What did you just say?" Yeah, man. <sighs> All right. So sad day in uh, in Israel today, man. Damn, that even kicked up my asthma. I'm fucking. That was that was a rough one. <laughs> Bro, no, dude. Yes, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, we're gonna get it one more time just for clarity. Look. So Isaiah 19 and 20. It will be a sign. So you know it's him. Still reading out that NIV. Look. They cry out to Yahweh because of the oppressors. He will send them a savior and defender, and he will rescue them. See that? Watch. Here we go now. Here we go. Key point. Keep point. Isaiah 19 and 21. He said, keep point. So, Yahweh will make himself known to the Egyptians. Look. You see that? So, Yahweh will make himself known to the Egyptians. You see that? Again, just like we read here. Zechariah 2 and 11. Many nations will be joined with Yahweh in that day and will become my people. And I will live among you. And you will know that Yahweh Almighty has sent me to you. You see that? Talking about himself. Third person. You don't know nothing about that. Well, how do I know that? Why? Because I am him. Stupid. So you rejected me, you rejected your God. You have no mercy now. May the Most High destroy you. May you have vengeance. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I can't even. Oh, dude, I can't. I can't, bro. Oh, my God. That is so bad. That's beyond bad. That's not even. I don't even know what to say to that. Dude, like, that's really some Jesus shit, dude. But that's even worse. At least Jesus, like, I, like, I mean, Jesus says some fuck shit, dude. Don't get me wrong, bro. But like, like, I am He, just I am God, just I am He. You reject me? Well, He did say you reject me, you reject the Father. But still, man, like that. He fucking thinks he's Jesus, dude. He thinks he's the descendant of David, oh, that, oh which is the same God. damn thing that Jesus said, right? It's not Jesus said, "I am the fucking offspring yep. of David." 
Yeah, you know, whatever the fuck shit. He's a better, better. They took our jobs. You fucking bullshit, you know. <laughs> this dude is straight That's out of fucking stu- South Park, bro. Straight blasphemy, man. That's so bad, that dude. Is like that is so beyond- bad. Like, how do you how do you say that? And then he wished vengeance and death and all kinds of shit. Watch, watch, can do Watch, watch. Okay. Uh, May he have vengeance on you for the for, for the for the things you have done for the for the evilness that have come out of your mouth because you know you don't know who's God. You see that? This is the whole purpose of why it's being known now. Who is God? Because you people thought you knew who was God. See that? Again, God. I will live among you, and you will know that Yahweh Almighty has sent me to you. You see that? That Yahweh Almighty has sent me to you. You see that? That's the catch twenty two. That's in case for you people out there that want to twist twist up the words of God. This is why He did that. Okay, so that you could dig your own pit. <laughs> okay, this is where you get your Jesus. Because why? They didn't know that the Most High Yahweh. He was speaking in third person. He was talking about himself this whole time. So, let's bring us back over here to Isaiah 19. Uh, well, well, one well, more time with the I am he. I just have to get that one so more time because that is so I bad. Like, destroy. Hold on, one more time. Yeah, Yahweh will make himself known to the Egyptians. Ready? You see that? So, Yahweh will make himself known to the Egyptians. Do you see that? Again, just like we read here. Zechariah 2 and 11. Many nations will be joined with Yahweh in that day and will become my people. And I will live among you, and you will know that Yahweh Almighty has sent me to you. You see that? Talking about himself, third person. You don't know nothing about that. Well, how do I know that? Why? Because I am him, stupid. So you rejected me, you rejected your God. You have no mercy now. May the Most High destroy you. May you have... Talk about a God destroy you. complex, man. <laughs> I am him, Bro. stupid. Oh, 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 oh man! Ah, that's that's so I'm bad. I'm sure if okay, Jesus character so was real, he'd probably use something a little bit more smarter than stupid. Yeah, bro, that was that was bad. You're that, stupid. I know, right? That's <laughs> <laughs> that whole thing's a fucking joke, bro. That's uh, so I I don't know what the community. It, it, <laughs> I personally think that like the. the uh, I don't know. The whole community should be just just, just stoning this dude. Yeah, just just right. fucking spiritually just shit? like mm-hmm. spiritually just beating the shit out of this dude, bro. Like no matter what comes fucking out of his mouth, no matter what like it's it's dude. Ah, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is worse than the camps. Yeah. Um bad, right? this is worse than than, you know, I I don't know. At least they say Jesus is not God, bro. This guy thinks he's the most high. Like th- this is this is bad, dude. Um, so we're just gonna- <laughs> that's so fucked. All right, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just don't know what else to do except for laugh right now because I'm just not in an angry mood whatsoever, and I'm not gonna let this dude get me in one, bro. But like, seriously, dude. Like, I mean, inside I'm fucking raging. I want to like, yeah, that, that- rip his face off. But like, <laughs> right now all I can do is laugh, bro, because that is so fucking ridiculous, dude. Like, what the hell? <laughs> ah, so luck. I guess I should do my fucking inhaler, but oh well. We're just gonna tough it out. All right. So excuse the uh, Darth Vader wheezing. Um. So uh, we got Deuteronomy thirteen and one. Man, that's so fucking retarded. All right. Here we go. Be careful to observe only that which I enjoin upon you. Neither add to it nor take away from it. And you know, goes without saying that that dude is. It's exactly what he's doing. If there appears a, among you a prophet or a dream uh, or a dream diviner, and he gives you a sign or a potent or a portent, right? And so this is like a, a, a um what because he said that he saw some fucking vision or or he says it's real life that it literally happened to him, but you know basically this is like a dream or a vision that he's divining on people, um trying to convince people that he's Gabriel the archangel and shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, and, and then you heard him. And he says, let us follow and worship another God, which is him. He's like, oh, he's, you know, Yahweh was talking about himself in the third person and blah, 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 blah. He's, and he, you, you heard him the last video talking about a holy trinity and shit, right? So, um, you know, this dude's going back to trinity worship. He thinks he's Jesus. Um, so he's saying, let us follow and worship another God whom you have not experienced. <laughs> and he'll even tell you. 
if you watch that series that I showed you, uh, whatever, what was the series called again? Uh, Declare What Is To Be, part one through three or whatever. If you check out those videos, he he literally talks about how um, the Most High was hidden. You know what I'm saying? He gr- grand, he, see, he just told a little fucker with the twisting shit, man. <clears throat> some some uh, serpent in the garden shit, right? And... Um, which shows you he's 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 doing some nakash, he's doing some enchanting and some enchantments, right? With his words, he's hissing. Um, but anyways, uh, he um, takes when you you know Yahweh removed us from his face, and he's like because Yahweh hid himself from us, but then now he's revealing himself to us again through his Torah, and we are getting to know him spiritually again. You know, being his sons. Um, he's taking and twisting that and being like, oh, well, I'm the most high. I'm here on earth. Know me and blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> we have not experienced anything like that. He'll even tell you this is new alien thing and blah, blah, blah. He always talks about new, 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 right? Space Jesus. Yeah, dude. He's fucking space <laughs> Jesus, dude. He's fucking white African space Christ, bro. Raptor Jesus, bro. Whom you have not experienced, even if the sign or portent that he named to you comes true, which this also attributes applies to the whole Jesus thing, right? This applies to any false prophet or anything, even if a sign of theirs that that they say comes whatever comes true, right? Do not heed the words of that prophet or the dream diviner. For Yahweh your power is testing you to see whether you really love Yahweh your power with all your heart and soul. Right, all your mind and all your soul. Follow none but Yahweh your power and revere none but him. Observe his commandments alone and heed only his orders. Worship none but him and hold fast to him. As for the that prophet or dream diviner, he shall be put to death. For he urged disloyalty to Yahweh your power, who freed you from the land of Egypt or Matsarium, and who redeemed you from the house of bondage, to make you stray from the path that Yahweh your power commanded you to follow. Thus he will sweep out evil from your midst. So this is it right there, man. This is this is it right there. He sweeped out. Motherfucker needs to be sweeped out. Bosom the, the broom of destruction, right? <laughs> the dude is trying to get you to worship him as the most high. And um, this clearly goes against Deuteronomy 13. Um, and that is his judgment, is uh, death. That's that's what the Torah declares. Um, so, you know, he's lucky that we're not back in the land. Um, because we're in bondage, we cannot observe these laws. And so, therefore, or that one in particular, the punishments. Um, so, until then, um, you know... Just how we'll do with him what he does with him. This is obviously testing people because you could see people on his comment boards like <laughs> fucking, um, you know, co-signing this shit. So obviously um, he had to test people and people failed. But um, his sentence as thus far, per, uh, you know, in, in accordance with Torah law, um, death. <laughs> and um, we're going to go get another scripture, which is in Ezekiel, the 28th chapter. This is uh, on some Babylon shit, right? <sighs> okay, so here we go. So this, and then, but this is see. The, this is the problem: is he's got Edomite mind syndrome, bro. You know what I'm saying? Whether the dude has it in his genealogies, whether he's just spiritually getting into that 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 mind frame, whatever it is, the dude is under complete Amalekitish thought. The dude is Ashal. Rough creation, bro. Not the, not the, even the negative, man. He's not following divine instructions. He's being a rough creation. He's being a new created man, the, the man that is to bring jealousy. You know what I'm saying? That part following that, that line of Esau and shit, right? <laughs> so it says, the word of Yahweh came to me, O mortal, say to the prince of Tyre, thus saith Yahweh, right? And this, like, prince of Tyre, because Tyre, of course, you know, were Canaanites. Um, but because, America and Esau himself has taken on that merchant type um, spirit to him. He, he, in fact, he even mixed with the Canaanites. So half these motherfucking Edomites descend from half Edom, half Canaan anyway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and um, just, just how the, just how they were in ancient times, they, they display those same traits. And he's talking to the Prince of Tyre, which of course is uh, uh, Amalek, which goes, this, this ties in with like the Lucifer thing. Watch you, you'll see. <laughs> it says, because you have been so haughty and have said, I am a God. I sit enthroned like a God in the heart of the seas. 
And this is deep because spiritually, like, this is what Gabari is doing right now. You know, he thinks he's a god, enthroned like a god in the heart of the seas. And, you know, if we read in Jeremiah about New Babylon, it says it's in the midst of the seas, right? Upon many waters. It says, whereas you are not a god, but a man, though you deemed your mind equal to a god's. So, see, there you go, man. You are not a god, bro. You are a fucking man, dude. Yep. You are a fucking man, dude. This goes with everything. Like, bro, dude, you, <laughs> you are not a god, but a man. Though you deemed your mind equal to a god's. Yes, you are wiser than, yes, you are wiser than Daniel, or you think yourself wiser to be wiser than Daniel. In no hidden manner can anyone compare to you. And this is like also doubles with, you know, this is with Esau as well. This is why it says uh, the hidden things of Esau are searched out. This is why he thinks he's controlling um, everything. He thinks he could change prophecy. He thinks he can make the prophecies, um, Go in his favor, I guess you could say, in a way. And this is part of the schemes we read in the in the Book of Jubilee. I mean, Slock in the DSS, <laughs> in the Host of Heaven lesson when we were talking about um, the schemes, right? This the evil plot of Hashatan, right? Of Baleal. Um, and then this is also because that's why it also says, like I said, the the he- hidden things of Esau are searched out. So this is also uh, doubling with that. Um. Let's see. Hold on. I was trying to get my notes real quick to see if I can find. Um, yes. Okay. So anyways, we're going to go. Uh, let's get a little more though. <laughs> um, by your shrewd understanding, you have gained riches. So yeah, he gained some type of knowledge. He gained some type of wisdom and understanding or not understanding though, but or he's shrewd understanding, I guess. So it's like a wicked understanding. He gained some type of riches. And have amassed gold and silver in your treasuries. But your great shrewdness in trade, you have increased your wealth and you have grown haughty because of your wealth. And remember, this goes for like America. Assuredly, thus saith Yahweh, because you have deemed your mind equal to a God's, I swear I will bring you against, I will bring against you strangers, the most ruthless of nations. They shall unsheath their swords against your prized shrewdness and they will strike down, down your splendor. And this is, goes in with like in Isaiah when Yahweh says that he's going to raise up the spirit of the Medes and the Persians. The motherfuckers is ruthless, bro. Have you ever seen the motherfuckers just sitting there chanting death to America all savage? Like just like the whole country and shit. <laughs> and he says, <laughs> they shall bring you down to the pit. In the heart of the sea, you shall die the death of the slain. Will you say, I am a God before your slayers? When you are proved a man, not a God, at the hands of those who strike you down? By the hands of strangers, you shall die the death of the uncircumcised, for I have spoken, declares Yahweh. So this is the spirit that East, uh, uh, Gabaria is uh, coming in. I am a God. Will you say, I got a question for him, right? He's, he's the most high, right? Will you say, bro? I am a god before your slayers. So when these motherfuckers start hacking, because it says that the Medes and the Persians are going to take no gold or silver. They, they didn't give they a did. shit, bro. They're just going to fucking come to kill, bro. So when these motherfuckers is, is chopping your ass down, will you say to them, I am a god before your slayers when you are proved a man and not a god at the hands of those who strike you down? Woo, man. Oh, I don't know what you're going to do. Oh, can you have me that charger right there? Yeah. Um, so, you know, I have I have that question for him as well. And like I said, this goes in um, with the Ezekiel 14. <laughs> now, if you go down, uh, remember, if you if you if you read the beginning, so we don't need that anymore. Hold on, so like I got to plug this charger in real fast. I, I was not planning on I just I heard him say that shit. And like I finished watching the little series to see if, if he, you know, what he had to say, and he didn't review, you know, repent and that shit. So you know, and so remember that that whole thing was was for the you know the Prince of Tyre, which it, it goes in perfectly with this. But Yahweh, this is uh, Isaiah fourteen. But Yahweh will pardon Jacob and will again choose Israel and will settle them on their own soil. And strangers shall join them and shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So see, we got the strangers, we got the converts, we got the Gwar. For people shall take them and bring them to their homeland. This is, remember, uh, the second influx the, the when the nations are sent out to gather the northern tribes, as read at the end of uh, Isaiah, the 65th to 66th chapter, I believe. 
And the house of Yahshua also shall possess them as slaves and handmaids on the soil of Yahweh. So, you know, we will have them as servants, just like we did in the land. They're chopping wood and gathering water and whatnot. They shall be captors of their captors. Well, you know, but they're going to do more than that. But anyway, they shall be captors of their captors and masters to their taskmasters. And when Yahweh has given you rest from your sorrow and trouble and from the hard service which you were to, made to serve, you shall recite this song of scorn over the king of Babylon, which, of course, is Amalek. Same thing, Prince Attire. How is the taskmaster vanish? How is the oppression ended? Man, it's oppression. Yahweh has broken the staff of the wicked, the rod of tyrants, right? The smote the peoples in wrath with strokes unceasing that belabored nations in fury and relentless pursuit. And America punks everybody, bro. I don't get, you know, they, they beat the shit out of our people more than anybody, but they go around punking everybody, bro. The Jews, they, they make everybody pay, bro. We talked to some uh, Koreans and shit, man. They were like, yeah, we got to pay all kinds of money to the Jews all the time. No matter what, they, they like tax them extra. But anyways, all the earth is calm, untroubled, loud, loudly it cheers. Every pine rejoices at your fate and cedars of Lebanon. So all the people, man, everybody's going to be cheering and rejoicing and the whole world's going to be cheering when Babylon falls. Now that you have lain down, none shall come to fell us. You know, ever after Babylon's laid down, especially for the children of Yashar, all, you know, after Gog and Magog, uh, no one's going to come pursuing us like they did. A while below <clears throat> was a stir to greet your coming. Rousing for you the shades of all the earth's chieftains, raising from their thrones all the kings of nations. All speak up and say to you, so you have been stricken as we were. You have become like us. Your pomp is brought down to Sha'awa and the strains of uh, the strains of your lutes. Worms are to be your bed, maggots your blanket. So this is, you know, they, they, even all the nations are going to be like, damn, man, America fucking fell. They're just like us now. Coming down to the worms. How are you fallen from heaven, O shining one? Son of the dawn, how are you felled to earth, O vanquisher of nations? Once you thought in your heart, I will climb to the sky, higher than the stars of God. I will set my throne. This is this dude, man. I will set my throne. <coughs> I will sit in the mount of assembly, right? Because he's always talking about, oh, Mount Zion, Mount Zion. On the summit of Zaphon, I will mount on the back of a cloud. I will match the most high. And that's what he said. He was even talking about how he's the cloud, the pillar of the cloud and the fire, and that he's the most high. I will be the most high. Instead, you are brought down to shot wall, to the bottom of the pit. They who behold you stare. They peer at you closely. Is this the man who shook the earth, who made realms tremble, realms, realms tremble, who made the world like a waste and wrecked its towns, who never released his prisoners to their homes, which is, you know, us, the Israelites? All the kings of the nations were laid, everyone in honor, each in his tomb, while you were left lying unburied, like loathsome carrion, like a trampled corpse, in the clothing of slain gashed by the sword who sink to the very stones of the pit. Man, you're fucking done, son. You shall not have a burial like them because you destroyed your country and murdered your people. That's what you're doing, Gabaria. This is what you're doing spiritually to your people. And this is what Esau has done to his own fucking people. This is what Amalek does to the other Edomites. <laughs> How many Edomites did he send just to sacrifice uh, uh, in World War One? Right? Just, just mindless drones out there just for fighting a fucking war that they created personally just to whittle down their own people. Like They don't give a fuck, bro, about nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, um, let the bread of evildoers never, never more, a breed of evildoers never more be named. Prepare a slaughtering block for his sons because of the guilt of their father. Let them not arise to possess the earth. Then the world's face shall be covered with towns. And this goes with Amalek, right? Amalek's going to be blotted out, man. Once they're done fucking shit, they can't, can't leave none of them fuckers alive. That's what the command was given to us uh, by Yahweh. And now this, because, you know, just to verify that this was, um, we can go to the book of Obadiah. And, of course, everybody knows Obadiah. But, you know, you shouldn't even. Um, um, see, look, if we go to verse 2, I will make you least among the nations. You shall be most despised. Your arrogant heart has seduced you, your mind. Who You who dwell in the clefts of the rock, in your lofty abode, you think in your heart, who can pull me down to the earth? Right? He says, should you nest as high as the eagle? Should you arrive, uh, arrive, be lodged among the stars? Even from there, I will pull you down, declares Yahweh. So that's, and that's, 
what Esau did. You know, he set his nest among the stars. He throws up his little satellites and does all his shit, trying to go up into space, trying to get to that outer firmament. Um, you know, and then uh, also in their minds, bro, they ascend to the heaven. They think themselves to be the most high. What do we read about Lucifer? All right, so it's Amalek. Even though, even if you go and lodge your motherfucking self up, right, among the stars, your ass is going to be pulled down, bro. No matter where you go, dude. And this is um, the mind state, like I said, that Gabaya is under right now. And I just wanted to get one last scripture before we close out. And we're going to go to Numbers 23 and 19. <laughs> I am he. Fucking idiot. What the hell's wrong with you, dude? All right, here we go. Ready? The Most High is not man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right there. Most High is not man to be capricious or mortal to change his mind. Would he speak and not act, promise and not fulfill? See, that's that's your damn problem, bro. You think the Most High is a man. You think you're trying to put the Most High on the level of a man, bro. He's not a man. He's not mortal. He's not. He's nowhere even close to what. <laughs> I know, right? Like, goddamn, bro. But you know, you want to claim you're the most high in the flesh and shit. And I am He and dwell among you and blah 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 and blah 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 and blah, 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 whatever the fuck. There's a special place uh, for you in Shaol, man. Yeah, there is definitely a special place for you in Shawal, man. So I, I don't know, man. I, I'm outraged at this blasphemy. I would think every other Israelite under the fucking sun would be pissed off at this blasphemy as well. But we'll see. But anyways, uh with that, you know, drive by beheadings, um, you know, we're gonna pick up again. Oh look, real quick, check this out, man. I found this at the a used bookstore a today, off man. A little off topic, but check it out. Mysteries of the Mexican pyramids, man. You know, got it real cheap. Dirt cheap. At a at a used bookstore, man. It's like in perfect, brand new condition. Um, shit is just, uh, it's good, man. It's good, some good information in there. Some pretty interesting things. Uh, just showing you that, like, just a, an example to visit your local used bookstores because you never know what you can find, bro. You never know what you can find for very cheap. So, anyways, with that, uh, we have Kawal Halal Yahawad Zabawat Akad Shema Yashaal Yahawa Alahayana Yahawa Akad Barakasham Yahawa Ahab Yahawa. Wa barakatam akiyamu akwash. So, wam shawam.